What's going on guys? Today I'm bringing you the first game of my second season in my UTSA Roadrunners Dynasty, my rebuilding project on NCAA 13. And uh, kick this off, we're going to be looking at my recruiting board here. And this year I'm taking a slightly different approach. I feel like we have some good players on this team, or some decent players anyway. We don't have a lot of seniors, a lot of juniors now this year because this is their third season as being an actual football team. And so I'm taking some chances on some better prospects, hoping I can come away with a little bit more quality and a lot less, well not like quality, it's kind of like a quality over quantity thing I guess, but I just want to get some more four star prospects and see if I can dip into some better talents in the talent pool, so we'll see if that works out for me, but I had some good luck recruiting actually, I think I did a good job recruiting in my first year so I could build up some coach prestige, and a lot of it's paying off right now, I'm getting some high point totals when I'm trying to recruit these guys, and I'll have to go through my roster and check to make sure, but I don't know how many seniors we have on this year's team, not too many though, we're definitely going to lose Steven Kerfez, and we're going to lose Evans Okacha, and I think we're going to lose Eric Sosa as well. I'm not sure all who we're going to lose. I'll go through and check that later, but we're playing our first game of the season this year against Colorado after, if you remember last year, I was recruiting a linebacker by the name of Fred Arnold, and he was going for us the whole way. I can't remember if he gave us a soft commit or not, but he decided to abandon ship, and he went over to Colorado, and so we're going to go against Colorado for taking our middle linebacker recruit that we wanted so desperately, and we did did find a replacement for him, but he's on the he's lower on the depth chart and he's not as good as Arnold would have been. So we're playing against the Colorado Buffaloes in the first week of or the second week of the season, what is our first game of the year. And here is your UTSA Roadrunners official depth chart for the second season in this series. We saw a lot of players get boosts in their overall rating up like three or four apiece. Uh, some of the better players end up going up plus five. But I'm liking where we're at right now as far as the second year in this project for me. It's been a lot of fun playing with this team so far and we're looking to uh, some bright futures ahead of us if we can keep this moving so we had three wins in season one and so I think our goal for this season should be four or more wins as long as we continually improve record wise I think we're going to be in good shape so there's Evans Okacha getting ready for the first game of the season and now here we go to the Alamo Dome hand off to Evans Okacha up the left side for a first down we even made Colorado come to UTSA to play in the Alamo Dome and Okacha's off to a good start this season and now it's first and ten Souza under pressure. That's what we have to avoid. We have to have better blocking, but that guy just came free off the edge. So it was just them sending an extra blitzer, and now we just cannot protect Souza once again. We don't want to see him put up the numbers he did in year one because he had like 28 interceptions, and part of that was me having bad throws, and part of it was also me rushing throws because of the pressure we were receiving. And so we punt on our first drive, and now Hirschman pitches outside to Tony Jones, the junior running back who's going to go for about four yards. Then he hands the ball off to Tony Jones, and he's going to be stuffed. That is Nick Johnston, our tackle, our strong safety, coming up and making a big play. And so back on offense, now passing the ball, Cam Jones, first catch of the year. There's a first down for the Roadrunners, and now it's third down and eight. Can Souza keep this drive moving? Good protection over the middle. Jeremiah Moeller makes the catch. That's good for a first down and a third down conversion. We'll go ahead to second down and four, and we're going to hand the ball off to Evans Okaja. Twin tight ends and a gaping hole to run through the middle of this defense. That's going to be good for a first down up towards the Colorado 30-yard line. New set of downs, Souza back to throw, and that one is lobbed and intercepted. I wanted to, like, put some touch on it, but not that much touch, and so it got intercepted, and that was my bad on that throw. So first pick of the year, and now they're back on offense, and number 99, Fernandez making the catch, and that's going to be good for a first down, and Hirschman back to throw again. He's going to find Canty, and Keenan Canty's going to get a big gain after the catch as well inside of the UTSA 30-yard line. It's third and six, though. Man in motion, takes a snap, Hirschman back to throw. He's going to sit in the pocket. Good protection, fire to the outside, and it's caught by Richardson. That's our number one receiver, Paul Richardson, the, the senior. And he's going to get him a first down, but now third down and three. They motion out the running back, and Hirschman back to throw. End zone, Canty, touchdown as Colorado takes the lead in this game. Seven to nothing, and UTSA is down in the second quarter. Pass to Evans, Okacha out of the backfield. Good block picked up on the outside, and Okacha's going to get a big first down to midfield. As Okacha has had some good plays already in this first half, he takes a stretch play now, good blocking, another 9-yard gain, very good chunks, and now we're going to hand the ball off to him on second down and short. Again, nice blocking, and Okacha gets a first down close to the 30-yard line where they had their drive stall out before on the interception. But now Cam Jones is wide open inside the 20, and they're in the red zone for the first time this year. New set of downs, Eric Souza, and it's intercepted by Vigo again. I wanted Cam Jones. Safety came up and jumped the pass, and... And that was my second big mistake of the first half when we had the ball in Colorado territory. 
territory. And now they're trying to put the hurt on us after we missed some opportunities. They're running the ball effectively. Hirschman back in the pocket. Second and six underneath the Fernandez. He makes the catch and gets a first down as the big 256-pound tight end is tackled. And now they got a good chance of scoring on this drive as well. Hirschman over the middle to Keenan Canty. First down, it looks like. First down and goal coming up. They have a man in motion. They hand the ball off to Richardson. And a nifty play call there gets him into the end zone. It's 14 to nothing. UTSA is down. And they have to get some points now with one minute to go left in the first half if they want to get some momentum going for them. There's a nice pass to the outside. But can Souza escape this drive without interception? He's going to go deep for Cam Jones. Actually, that's Brandon Freeman. And that one was knocked away. A great play on the ball. So third down and 12. Souza to throw. He fires it over the middle. Close to a first down. That's caught. And they're going to call him just shy. Kenny Harrison on the catch. Fourth down and one. Though we go for it. Hand the ball off to Okacha. Up the gut. He gets the nice yardage. That's good for a first down, and we have 25 seconds to go. Souza, though, under pressure, he escapes, and everybody wanted to see me scramble with him more. Well, here you go, inside the five and out of bounds, and that is a big first down and goal with now 18 seconds to go in the first half. Souza now underneath to Jeremiah Muller. He's going to be upended at the five or six yard line, a backwards play. Second down and goal. Can they punch it in this time? Souza, Okacha helping protect, fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Cam Jones, and UTSA is on the board for the first time this year, 7-14. As UTSA has some momentum now, hopefully, as they go ahead to halftime. Sean Iano kicking this one away to Colorado, who wants to just take this one to halftime. Richardson, though, takes it from the goal line. He's going to go up, and there's some seams, and there's some open space. And there goes Richardson, and no one is going to catch him. Wow, Colorado scores again with a kick return touchdown right before the half. 21-7, to that one hurts. And then Tony Jones on offense in the third quarter as Colorado got the football. And they have all the momentum now as they got that big touchdown. And now Keenan Canty makes a catch in one-on-one -on -one coverage. First down now, and they're threatening once again to go up now by three scores. A huge shift in momentum. And then Ford takes the handoff. Touchdown, Colorado. It is 28-7. And just like that, UTSA is down by 21. So Souza second and six. He fires it to Harrison. He makes the catch close to the 45-yard line as they have to get some big plays in the passing game to move downfield and get some points back. And then Souza hit his. He throws almost intercepted. Third and six coming up. A lot of pressure for him in this game. And he's going to fire to the outside. Jumping up is Brandon Freeman on the jump ball. And it's a complete catch for a first down. But third and seven. Can they convert once more? Freeman makes a catch. He's short of the first down. Marker and tackled three yards shy. But we're going to go for it here late in the third quarter. And Sosa's going to throw it to the man he's most comfortable with. Brandon Freeman. First down UTSA as their threat is still alive here on this drive. Now handoff on the draw play. Evans Okacha busting to the outside. A big gain for Okacha, about 15 yards in that draw play. Second down and goal later in the drive, and Okacha caps it off with a touchdown run, having one of his best games in this series by far. But UTSA is still down by 14, so they have to get a big play, and there is a stop. Not a turnover, but we'll take it. Second down and nine, we're in the fourth quarter. Can Souza get this rolling? Underneath, Cam Jones, curl route. First down, UTSA, with just over four minutes to go. Now they want to hand the ball off to Evans Okacha, going to the outside, but nowhere to go. He's tackled after a no gain on the play. Third down and 10. Souza's going to throw. He's going to find his man, Brandon Freeman, short of the first down by five yards, but they already converted once in this game. Can they do it here again? Souza, it's batted down by a defensive lineman, and after that, Colorado would take their drive and kick a field goal, taking a three-score lead, and that was too much for us to come back from. We put in the backups after that field goal, and Colorado knocked us off, but maybe we'll have to play against them next year in their house. And by the way, Fred Arnold did not play because he received the red shirt from Colorado so we definitely want to play him again next year and try to get a shot to go after him finally sometime we're going to play him until we can play against him and beat him next up we have the North Texas Mean Green who might substitute them in our schedule for Oklahoma State because they, they're they probably going to go play Savannah State or some cupcake team anyways we're going to go play against North Texas so anyways guys that's up next so thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next time